What do you think of when you think of vending machines? In Germany, you'll have the standard vending machines that offer candy, chips, and other snacks. You'll also find coffee vending machines, where you can get a cheap hot coffee to go. In a lot of places throughout Germany, you'll also see cigarette vending machines that require an ID to purchase a pack. But we are not interested in any of those. Today, we are going to four very different and interesting local vending machines here in Germany. We are back in the German countryside, as you can see, and we are in the small town of Duderstadt, which is my hometown. It's actually right here. We're at the edge of it. And today is going to be an interesting food video because we're going to seek out some local farms in the area because a lot of them lately having vending machines selling all kinds of farm items and produce. So we're going to look for them. We're going to buy a bunch of things. We're going to cook it, try it out and see how good the German vending machine farm produced food is. All right, so we came to this place called Freckmanns Kartoffelhof and it's a big farm in the middle of Germany and they specialize on potatoes, but they have all different kinds of stuff. And they just recently upgraded their vending machine to this vending room, this bigger vending machine Look room. Look at this. Yeah, and they have different types of stuff. You go in here and it starts with apples and there's a sign, by the way, on the outside saying it's open 24-7 for self-service. So if you want some late night apples and potatoes, they got gotcha. you. We got apples, we got sweet potatoes, there's onions here in different bags. This, oh, is, this is happy Phil. This is a good sized potato bag right here. Some pumpkins as well for the time of the year. Yeah. Vending machine with potato salads, beetroot salads. They said they make this every day, which is nice. More potatoes, sausages, different types of steaks different forms of potatoes. This is this is my shop right here. Yeah, look at all those potatoes. We've got more potatoes on the side, more potatoes, different, different types, types of potatoes. And an interesting thing is you take your stuff, you mark it down here how much it was and then you pay it by yourself. And they have a security camera so don't like you should just be honest. This is how it works here in the countryside. Let's just choose a couple of things. So we're definitely getting one of these fresh potato salads. You always grab the one on the back. Always. I think I want a beetroot salad. Okay, it's beetroot not, salad. That looks really good. I think we're getting one of these. This is like a big potato pancake ready to throw in the pan wow. in the hot oil. This is gonna be good. And they have uh, sausages, but we're going to another vending machine that will have sausages later. Pack of Leberkäse. Right here, Will. From the back. <laughs> He's always going for the back. Ooh, that's fries. There's so many potato things. I have to uh, restrict myself, but yeah. I don't think we can walk out here without a bag of potatoes, so. Princess, fill the we're princess. We're taking the princess potatoes, but we're doing the small bag because we're gonna yeah. buy some more stuff. All right, we added it all up. It's 15.59 for all of this stuff. And you pay right here. Put it in. <laughs> there you go, ding. And now that we've paid for our goods, bought some potatoes, it is time for vending machine number two. All right, so we're here at this vending machine in the heart of the living area. And we have eggs, we have pasta down here. We'll probably get this one, right? Number five. There's an egg carton. Aya, uh, three. Three euros, 10 eggs. It says we can get change back, so let's give it a try. <laughs> Gotta push it harder. Oh, there oh, we go, there okay. we go. Nice. Wow, that's nice. Is it like, it's cooled in there? Yeah, slightly. Whoa! The next one just spun around. Nice. Oh yeah, the next ones are just waiting to be spun around. Got my change, two euros, nice. So let's check out our eggs. Beautiful, local eggs, a nice recipe as well. Nice, so this thing is open 24 hours. Since the supermarkets are closed here on Sunday, since they close pretty early, you can get your late night egg. Yeah, it's they nice. just have eggs and pasta. Yeah. Two items, but sometimes all you need. We now have some eggs thanks to Heidi's Lechen, and now it's time for vending machine number three. All right, we came to another big farm and uh, it's here on the hill at the edge of the little town. They have a whole store actually behind this, but they also have this 24 seven vending machine in front of it. And it's pretty cool. They sell a good variety actually. They have eggs, they have different types of sausages, different types of meats, ham stuff. Then they have these jars with like also different kinds of like sausages in there. They have the full on tin cans. They have soups in glasses. So I'm just gonna see here. Get some credit going. We're gonna 47. start with a... Oh, I was wondering if it just drops the glass, but no. Oh, cool. 
potty pea soup. Nice. It's very cold. I can feel it. Uh, it's a definitely a cooled, like a fridge thing. It's a refrigerated vending machine. Now we're gonna do number 35, which is the currywurst. There it is. Come to papa. Come to papa. Now that Phil has some sausages in his hands, it is time for vending machine number four. So we came to another vending machine here. It looks very similar. You have this cute wooden house yeah, here. Yeah, it's uh, right at the edge of the town. Check it yeah. out. And we have a milk Tankstelle. It's like yeah. a fresh milk you can get here. It's called Milch, Frisch Milch Stübchen. Yeah. So they don't have milk right now due to a sickness, but this is how you would do it. You would buy a bottle for a euro, like we did with the eggs. You just grab the bottle. You would come in here, open this up, put the bottle in, and you could buy milk for 50 cents for half a liter or one euro for a full liter. And then you'd have fresh milk. How cool is that? Yeah, they're gonna be back on Saturday. So. Yeah, <laughs> but you could also get eggs, pasta here. They have different types of pasta. And they also have honey, which we're gonna get today. We have a Sommerblüte or Fuhrtrakt. Creamy, this one says creamy with wraps. We'll probably just do the creamy Gefrüht which is the summer flower. Deutscher Honig, and I think we just put the money here. So six euros, there's a five. It's again, trusting in the people to yeah. pay. And then 250. And we've got our honey. How cool is that? Now you might think these are just small towns in Germany. However, we live in the city of Dusseldorf. And this past summer, we visited a farm not too far from the Altstadt with an egg vending machine and other vending machines with a lot of locally made products. And of course, more potatoes. That's so cool, the future. Whoa. Hope they didn't crack. Oh, they're on the, on the head. Whoa. Wow. Ooh, I look fresh. Fresh eggs. Nice, fresh eggs from a vending machine, that's a first. We took those eggs home and made some delicious tortilla de patatas with them. While we're here, could you please like the video and subscribe to our channel? Thank you. If you want to further support us, you can become a channel member or you can support us on patreon.com slash Deanna and Phil, where we make additional monthly videos. Shout out to our soulmates, Ricky, Dory and Dino, Lauren, Jared, Peggy and Derek, Raja Lupka, Eric Kramer, and Michael Petch. Thank you. And now let's cook some vending machine food. All right, we went home. We have all of our goods and we're going to quickly prepare them before we're going to eat. So we're starting out with this nice pea soup. And I'm going to open this here. Oh, stock man. Oh, it smells nice. There's sausages in there. I can see that already. Wow, that yes, sound. Don't you love that sound? ASMR. Okay, I need a spoon. <laughs> yes. All right, here goes the soup. I'm really excited for this one, the rusty fun. Ash and, uh, brown style. I really like the amount of potato stuff that well, we have at here. At the potato farm. For the potato fill. And by the way, if you're new here and you like these kind of videos, we do food related videos every week. So it would be awesome if you could subscribe to our channel. A lot of you are not subscribed, so please subscribe to the channel. Subscribe for potatoes. Oh, look at that. Oh, I thought it's gonna be more fluid. Wow, that is. That looks amazing. <laughs> we'll see what happens. That was vacuum packed. All right, let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Beautiful. Wow. We got this nice big glizzy here. Curry sausage. Put her in. Oh, not as hot. And we're gonna do the German Leberkäse. Oh, there's two. Yeah, two slices, of course. Oh, nice. I it's one slice of Leberkäse. I thought it was one thick one. Let's fry it up. It's gonna be right in here with it. If you're a long time watcher, you know that this thing is one of our favorites, the Schwartenwurst. I still think the closest translation is Rhine sausage. It's this type of pork sausage that is boiled into these tin cans. And if you fry that afterwards, it's one of my favorite deals. Look at that fat. One of my favorite meals is what I was trying to say. Ooh. It's getting a little crispy. I'm not sure if the inside is getting cooked though. This is why we need to read the directions. It says it needs to go in the oven. I'm gonna do that quickly. <laughs> Piece of beauty, look at it. We had no idea what we were doing. This we? Goes, we? This goes in the oven for 20 minutes. Good, maybe it's gonna be like a patata de... Tortilla de patata. Exactly. All right, it's time to eat. And the first thing we're gonna try is this hearty pea soup. And it looks very nice. 
Yeah, there's chunks of potatoes in there. There's chunks of sausage in there. But I see a lot of carrots, bright orange in there. It's almost more like a stew. It's so thick and heavy. Yeah. It's, it's perfect for this time of the year. Check it out. Wow, it's so hot. I'm gonna burn my mouth. Oh, wow. That's nice. I think every German growing up somewhere in the countryside had this from like their grandma made this kind of stuff. They ate a lot of soups and stews. Dude, this is a very, very nicely seasoned too. Yeah. Dang, this is a good option. Late night soup run. The next thing before we're gonna go to our entrees is just good old German... Grey bread. Grey bread. <laughs> because we bought the honey. And I think honey works best with some butter underneath, right? I'm gonna do the Rhein sausage, the Schwartenwurst on it. Wow, that's some thick honey. I think honey on butter as a bread is a typical German breakfast item. It looks a little um, not so appetizing, a little dead, I would say. Might be awesome. You go with the sweet, I go with the hearty. Mmm, this is so nice. I oh, love God. honey during this time of year. I put it in my tea all the time. I feel like honey is so underrated. Mmm. Oh. This Schwartenverse thing, it's pretty good. So we made another Schwartenverse video. We made it with potatoes and green beans and everything. We fried it in a pan. I think Schwartenverse is very, very dependent on the farm you get it yeah. from. Because we had some people who were like, uh, I tried it and it wasn't that great. We also got it from like an Edico or a Reva and it was not that great. We go to like a few local farms to get this stuff. It's the best one. <laughs> All right, so we're here with the warm, hot meal. Let's start with the rusty thing. So it was in the oven, uh, glazed in oil, and we hope it's It looks done. a bit like a hash brown because it's a lot oh, of shredded pieces. True. Steam it. Curious. Mm. Huh. It's like a puffer. Had a bit of a crunchy outside. It might be because we fried it first, mm -hmm. but then uh, the inside is nicely fluffy. Yeah. And it's these shredded potato things. Yeah, really like nice. a hash brown or something. Mm. That's really good. I kind of really want to dig into the salads, but let's just take a piece of meat. Go with the Leberkäse. Yes, the Leberkäse. We fried from both sides. So yeah. here we go, Leberkäse. Also mustard. As you can see, it's on the thinner side. Sometimes at like fairs and stuff, you get Leberkäse that is really thick. I think I prefer it a little thicker. I thought yeah. so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use an egg with it. That's amazing. Okay. This feels like breakfast. Egg with this Leberkäse. Mm. I'm trying the potato salad in the meanwhile. They had a lot of different types of potato salad. There was mayonnaise based, there was vinegar based, Felix like vinegar, so that's what we got. Hands down. Mm -hmm. How's the egg? Can you taste the difference? Mm. I think with eggs, it's less of if you taste the difference. It's more as about how uh, ethically correct they're being produced, yeah. I guess. So good with the Leberkäse, right? Dude, Leberkäse yeah. with a fried egg on top, potato salad on the side, a little mm. mustard. Perfect. So I really wanted this beetroot. It looked really good. I just love the availability of beetroots here. I feel like it's a very common thing to have with like salads and stuff. It tastes so good. They had full, like, packaged ones, and then these chopped and pickled ones a little bit. Wiener, not wiener, currywurst, German currywurst. It's How a... come yours is longer than mine? Well, <laughs> I've heard that before. It's a pork sausage, what? it's fried. Normally you put more curry seasoning on it, curry ketchup. This one is very orange on the inside, so curry sausage. Oh, that's ketchup. good. It has a nice kick at the, at the end, in the back of your throat. I'm curious if you're familiar with German sausages, because the <laughs> I'm not meaning both, because uh, the stereotype is that currywurst is a very German dish, but also so is the bratwurst in the bread roll, right? Yeah. Which one do you like better, a currywurst with curry ketchup, maybe fries on the side, or bratwurst maybe bratwurst in the bread roll? Bratwurst and a bread roll for me. No, I'm not sure. I guess it depends on the sauce. It depends on the mood too. Maybe a little bit of both action, back and forth. Mm. Let me dip this thing in ketchup for oh a second goodness. here. The American way. German-American fusion right here. It says the guy who prefers his potatoes with ketchup. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. A lot of locally produced food and convenient to get. So I really like yeah. that. I think it's fresher. 
than most what you get in the supermarkets. Yeah, definitely. They're popping up way more and more here in Germany, so. Yeah, some of the people said in the last three years they're becoming more and more of a thing. And we even found most of them on Google Maps, yeah. so it's getting easier. It's become the thing. It's yeah. nice. Let us know what are any vending machines in your country. What do you have? Do you have some sausages in there? <laughs> Let us know. Yeah, would you buy food and make full meals from vending machines or is this all totally weird? Yeah. As always, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye! -bye. Bye.